Uncle Ryan. Well, day one of the 6250R challenge. Yes, yes. <laughs> Are we a bit? Uh, Getting a bit what? carried away. Carried away, I don't know. There is a reason for this though. Oh yes, there's a reason for it. Um, I know she's big like, yo, she's a big wagon. She's a big tractor for a fusion, however, John Deere has just announced that all 6 Series tractors, smaller ones, can now come with this. Command Pro, all those bits and bobs. <laughs> You're the ultimate Fint man, we know you love your Fint. Yeah. We've been here with your 724 Fint, we know means you were going now to buy a tractor, you maybe consider a 210R, a 190R, whatever it is you'd be thinking of doing. What about the equivalent? You can put this joystick on it, you can bail with that joystick. What's your initial thoughts now? You've done 100 bales last night, we left you on your own, yeah. no cameras, no nothing, we says go and play with the joystick. Yeah. Setting up the bailer, I see you ever sitting up there, she's cruising lovely at 540 in the PTO. Yes. What's she hiding the revs about 15, 16? Aye, uh, around 15, 70 there. She's running, the got man, she's running that 540 economy. Um, and, uh, it's so similar, but it's so different. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the same principle as my tractor. Um, like, the way it's moving, you know, you dab her forward there to increase your speed. It's the first tractor I've driven that resembles her, that's not a fan. I'm with you. Um, that's I, this whole thing here is actually my favourite thing in her. I like the way the, the, the two preset lights. Unreal. Uh, the simple things like the radio controls, the fan, you know, all them things that like they are, they, I like that, I just like, I like the setup here. Um, joystick's really comfortable as well. You did have it set up, but I done something to it, don't know what I done. Take an hour thing to. Ground's got stuck again. Sorry, kind of relevant, but um, ground up here is getting stuck a wee bit that again. And, and funny, that's what I was just thinking when I left last night. We left him with a 1,250 kilo weight block at the front of her, and her hook straight off. Four ton mowers in the back, and I was like. The pressures will not be right in that tractor, and I think you did realise that last night. I did realise that last night now. But you let a bit of air out of them after we were chatting, and yeah. you'll be alright now. That'll but it gone. just goes to show you the importance of tyre pressure as well. The importance of tyre pressure, the fact you're weighted down at the front, it also let also highlights the fact that the fusion in this tractor is not really doing anything for the tractor. No, it's not, no. And uh, what do you call it? Like, what's well, a fusion 6 ton ish? Like, must bend around. Uh, right, you know, five and a half, six, depending on which way she's loaded all the yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you'd just be expecting the bailer to. Aye, you know, you just like, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know, is she 10 ton? 11 ton the tractor? I should be. She's dry weight, but according to the books, maybe be like 9.3, so something along those lines. Yes. So, yeah, we you've 1250 extra kilos ballasted in the front arms there, so yeah. aye, she's up there. The, um, but she's a great part of weight ratio tractor. Very much so. Um, like, don't, there's an R we feature like about her seeing you put your foot in the brake, it stops her. Like, if I wanted to stop, you know, if I blocked her or something, I put my foot in the brake, she she stops like that. Um, but she does, as you say, the balance, you know, the weight to par, like, you know what I mean? Like, as you say, that tractor boosts up. What does she boost up to? You know, she's a 250R. She's 250R. Um, doctors differ, patients die. I'm just going to say as close to 300 as makes no odds. She's right, meant okay. to boost up to as and when needs it. There's, you know that old crack that you. Aye, and like, you know, that's a big tractor, like, you know what I mean? That's a big tractor, aye. As you say, it's kind of, it's kind of wasted a wee bit there, but you see, yo, if I get the right lump in her neck, I'll choke her. You know, I still conk her out as such, like. I can't, and uh. Hey, I'm not conkers quick now. No, no, that stuff here is, that's the third cut here, so that's something just as heavy, thankfully. But, you see, for the likes of yourself, who's who's running this baler yourself, who has two mores that you run in your 724 now, you've a front class and a back class more. Yeah. You've, uh, 
in your head, you're maybe not set out loud, but in your head you, you envisage triples at some point. Sometime, you know. You know, with the likes of this tractor here, which is a bigger tractor, I get that. It is a big tractor. It's the tractor you would want for your three mowers. It probably is, yes, because you, well, you have a wee bit more weight. Like, I think the Fiat, the Phantom Santa, what was she, like, uh, eight ton or eight, something? Eight or so likely. But um, then you take, you take her running in the 540E there on that baler. It'd be very interesting to see, is she munching through much more diesel? Well, I don't think she will be. I'm not sure, um, I wasn't paying any attention to the gauge on her now. I felt her this morning and I felt her again when I go home tonight and I don't know how many bales I've made. And I you know, I'll be fighting meter it and see just out of interest what she did use, you know. And um, you'll know roughly what your own does. Aye, ah, it's right down at home. I couldn't just hardly tell you what it is. It's like so uh, something like two or three litres of bale or something out like there, you know, all depends on your crop too, you know what I mean? I see you're running metal sensitivity. Metal sensitivity. Um if you want to get stopped, like the way I would sort of work at the front house there, like you see her coming up there now, you pull her down, you get her stopped, and that puts a wee bit of grass in to get your plastic round. You go to high sensitivity, and nearly stops her sharp, you know, like you're nearly, you know. Um, you familiar with the second? That should not go anywhere. No, I don't know that. Yeah. Oh, okay. And the same when you're going forward, just don't push it going forward now. Because she'll just like, ah! <laughs> yeah. Um, um, you know what you call, right, okay, don't do that. Uh, and like, I put it into the first sensitivity, or that first setting, and uh, then I thought she was slowing the, she was slowing the uptake. Yeah. And uh, she, um... Well, you're right back there, do you see? Right into that second click. You can work with that, like. Ah, you can work with that, aren't you, eh? As a John Deere, like, John Deere's a good tractor, there's no doubt. Look, I mean, I was using them, they are a good tractor. Well, they're number one. They are number one, are they? And are they? Oh, yeah. Uh, number one market share. Right, okay, there you are. Which you can't, you can't argue with really that. argue with no, that. No, you can't, no. At the end of the day, the only experience I have with John Deere's 6910, 6920s, Parkwood, ah, stirring away here at gears. And it's got to be any of my tractors now, there's not a gear stick in the yard. Yeah. So this is a whole lot more familiar. It's hard to explain. Like, I can get on to it, the more I drive it, the more I'm getting on to it. Like, there's no question about that. Yeah. And, uh, but as it, it is different to my tractor. Of course, it has to be different. But there's loads of similarities, like, the shuttle, not her other side. Yes. You know what I mean? And for a thing... to the other side for cruise. I know it's Laura's safe for cruise, same as, same as mine as well. And for John Deere to fight a market of Thint men, this is their, their game, that like. You know what I mean? They are getting close. Well, where are you at in your head with tractors? Thint, Massey? In what way? What do you mean? Changing, what, where would you go? What would you be thinking? Um, I would always like one Thint. Always, because I don't think, and I, I will be interested to see that there, um, doing a bit of haulage work, because, like, in my eyes, the fence not ideal for haulage work. I like the partial. We've talked about all this before, like, and I, my opinion stays the same. Um, my 7618 is safe for haulage work. Like, she has, she has but the one. You've, you've pumped. Well over two thousand hours in that tractor in the first year you've had her. Uh, I'm you saying, know, you know that, that she's doing the bulk of the work. You know what I mean, like haulage work and that. Um, any field work, the mowing, and a lot of the bales done with that because that's what she's there for. But if we were going to draw bales or draw slurry or that there, you go in the seven six, and then if there's another tank or something, you go and take the fan. And uh, as I say, all depends what you're buying the tractor to do. Yeah. But in your case, you're having to buy your tractors to multitask. That, that's the thing. You know, and, and if you're driving one yourself, and that's what my point was getting back to. So there's a 6250R. She's meant to be very economical and you can cruise about with her, you know, is it is it that out of place on a Fusion, but you can go home tonight, put three mores on and go and get a blast of mowing done with her. 
and still have a still have two other tractors that will run the fusion but whenever you're uh, about to drive the thing yourself is that something is that the sort of a line you would see yourself going down or would you just have to buy that second bigger tractor uh, all that, that, that other big tractor just to sit with three mores well i think if i was going with if i was running three mores i think i'd like a tractor sitting with the mores on it yeah I don't know, everything, you know, to try and say, keep mowing. To try and keep mowing. Um, but if you're spending that amount of money in the tide, you can't just buy her to have her sat in the shed with some mowers on her. Yeah. You know what I mean? It has to be, you know, as you say, you have to be able to bail off it. You have to be able to draw slurry off it. You have to be able to do all them things. And it has to be user friendly for um, someone else to jump into her and you don't have to give them a day in her to. I uh, get the feeling that you can throw them into it and say, right, we're going to draw a story, right, that's cool. But my point is, if you were going to change your fin, and John Deere were offering something that wee bit closer, wee bit smaller, but with that same layout, could it possibly tempt you? Or a fin woke up tomorrow morning and you were told no more fins. They're not going to exist. That was me. I, I, I definitely would be thinking about it, like, of course. I said this before, but my my, ha my heart lies strongly in the Massey, yeah, you know. Strongly. Like 77, 26. Aye, you know, see them 7720s and 24s and 26s, they are something else. Like, that new S series, that you have to give it to them, Gar. Looks good. That looks good, like. What about the slurry situation for this winter? Any changes? The only thing I changed was the jaw bar. I changed into what a 12 meter. As, um, but you haven't done anything with that yet. No, no, no. I've got to get it to like November, or December, or something. I'll have it for the spring name. Bail count going good this year. Go well. Uh, again, start of the year crops were light. Was worried a wee bit about the bail count. Thought mm, bail count's going to be down this year. Um, we're in the first of September. I say the day. Second cut, the cell really that second cut to do, you pay the third. Um, we're up and around that 10, 10 and a half thousand there at the minute. And, so, you're, and you're only getting going now. We're only getting sort of going again there. We've stopped for a fortnight there. So I'd like to think there's maybe a five odd left to do, you know. We'll actually be up a wee bit this year. And the diggers is mighty. Diggers, great job. They are flat out. They are good. I like the diggers. I look, I can't complain, you know what I mean? There's many today you think less would do. I'm telling you how, like, I was stressed yesterday. Like, we can tell. I was stressed. We cheered yesterday. you up, but. You did cheer me up. You did, I. Just, you know, and you know all it was that cheered you up? John Deere. No. What? You forget about the John Deere. SMD. Shady Mel. <laughs> we all love it, like, don't we? Regardless of the brand. <laughs> Regardless of the brand, doesn't matter what it is. See, uh, I tell you, uh, uh, it was, see, yesterday, whenever I was starting, I was I threw the back window open or something, looked out at something or something, and that waff of new smell came on the one that I was like, ah, oh, that's nice sight. Ah, ah, ah. Shady Mel. The wee two second timer, a good job. That is a good job, aye. See there, look. It's perfect timing too. That is, aye. Oh, it's good, look. And the flow, you're able again and adjust the flow, everything's smooth on her. Aye, right, that's right. Hey, um. And McHale still haven't opted for the ISA bus yet, I don't think. I don't think it, no, I don't think you can get I thought they were, like, I remember talking to someone last year and they were developing it. Okay, yeah. Um, because when you get a run, have you run any equipment like through ISA bus yet? No, I haven't, no, not myself, no. Don't you get a wee look at the mowers and how those mowers get onto this tractor? I can figure it with your tractor. I can figure it with your tractor, it's phenomenal. That's some piece of gear, like, there's no having and hand about it. But... I still think it's the wrong shade of green for me. Just... And... I was talking to Eddie Martin to earlier on, and he said, it doesn't matter if it's a zer or what it is, you know what I mean? Whatever you're used to is what you'll want, and that's just that. But if you spent a week in this, I guarantee you it would change a bit more. Uh, possibly. There's no grace. They never say never, like, you know what I mean? But um, I still think, uh, again, so I'm, you know, the fence I'm used to, like, you know what I mean? I say it's really hard to 
But the more I do last year, the better I got onto it. Like, you know what I mean? And the more I feel I get for Fucking it. Fucking fairness, and I tell you what, how quiet a smooth running track there, actually. Aye, she has been quiet now. Eh? Oh, she has. And uh, even standing outside of her, she's quiet. Yeah. What other use would you have for this big tractor? Because I know there's something else you're thinking about and you're not telling us. <sighs> See, you're going to buy the big tractor and then buy the three mores and then go. <sighs> what else am I going to do? That's I a wagon. I need some. <laughs> there it lies the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. <laughs> do you know what you need for this wagon? A wagon. A wagon. I need a wagon for you the wagon. You want the wagon. Don't lie to me. Well, we've told about this two years ago. I know, when you still I'm still yipping on about it. Why have you not bought one? <laughs> there's three diggers there now, and we're doing this, and we're working away with them, and there's only me. Three diggers? There's three diggers. Last I spoke to you, two diggers. Ah, uh, there's another five ton digger there now as well. What did I have then? I had... Uh, Sun? 6480? 6480. Oh, was that? Was that really? 6613. 6613, that's... That's the Harris Yeah, it's all the same, like, that's the Harris now you have the uh, 7618. 7618. Second Fusion. Second Fusion. Three diggers since then. You might have just have bought the first digger at that time. Ah, I might have done at that just time, or I was on the I was on the cards at that time. Now you have three diggers. Now you have three diggers. Um, two mores, only ran one more at that time. Two mores. Bought all your egg this year. You said you, yes. you, your statement was you didn't do any reagan. Aye, bought a wee vacant off Metal Days. Your dad does that. Oh, he loves Reagan, that's what he's made today. Loves it, likes it, yep. Yeah. Hassle free. Oh, sure. You know, a. Um, as long as you're sucking diesel. I, that's, uh, I like to grow the thing a bit and try and. Like, never going to be rich, but as long as, again, I'll say it before, my opinion has not changed in the slightest, as long as we're happy. As long as we're happy, what we're doing. We can sit here and smile. You're right. Well, what's not to smile about? You? I know you're not only a 250R. Aye, but yo, you'd smile if you're in 762 R. Like. Ah, but then you might laugh if you were in the John Deere and smiling if you were in it. <laughs> well, you know, it depends who you are. You would be sitting giggling like a laugh. If I'm sat over there. Like and then I'm sat in that John Deere lot and I go and thinking, that is just mwah. But it's not. But it is. Not really. Things have went well now, it definitely have. I can't complain. Again, I enjoy what I do, try and provide a good service to my customers. And <laughs> He's going to do this whole line here. We are the best. <laughs> Call me. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <Both> 7 <eight. laughs>